Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Welsh ANOVA or one-way ANOVA using R, specifically I'm using R Studio. This video will focus on how to actually perform the test, not so much if you should. There are many tests that could be used to compare means across different categories. This is just one of them. Um, it's gaining in popularity and it's also sometimes one of the better tests that could be used. For more information on different tests you can visit my website. Um, I'll also leave a link to uh, on my website to this uh, R script. To show you how the Welsh ANOVA can be done with R, uh, I first need to load some data. So I have a CSV file with some data in it. Uh, that's actually uh, from a survey among students. As you can see, it's about 55 uh, students and about 50 variables. But I don't need all this data. I only need two fields or two columns. Um, I'm interested in the location, that's for my categories, and the overall grade that the students gave the course. I'm going to select those two and call that selected data. Um, and there will be a few, so if we look at these, there might be a few where one of the two is missing, so for example here, and those can actually be removed, so I don't need those, so I can use the NA omit, omit option and now I should have less, yeah, I have 48 variables now left. So it simply removes any row that has one or both uh, missing. Now with that, I can actually uh, perform the test without having to install anything. I can just do a one-way.test, um, say that I want my uh, scale variable, in my case the grades, then a, I think it's called a tilde, uh, and then the grouping variable and make sure then to set variances equal to false. Um, if you set it to true, you perform a regular Fisher ANOVA and now it will perform the Welsh ANOVA. Uh, there are other libraries that can do this, for example the DOEX uh, library. If you've never used that before, you can install packages and then within quotation use DOEX. Load the library and then run the test by using WE for Welsh um, and then something Welsh, I think, just the first two letters. Um, again, I uh, feed it the scale variable and the grouping variable, and that should give you your same results. Um, as you might notice, it actually only gives one degrees of freedom instead of both of them, and it rounds the value as well. But the p-value is the same. Um, you can also use the one-way tests uh, package that also has a Welsh.test function. So and that should give the same results. And we see again the 10.19, 2 and 26, and again the same p-value. Or the R statics, I'm not sure if that one is still working, it sometimes gives me some warnings. Um, but looking at the results, there is the statistic, which is the 10.2, so that's fairly close to that 10.195, so it's rounded a little bit the degrees of freedom, and again the p-value. I also made my own function that can actually perform different tests. It's probably not the fastest in the world, but uh, you can load it using uh, my GitHub uh, account. So if I load this one, I now get the means test uh, function. Again, f give it the scale variable, the uh, one that has the groups, and then which test to use, in this case Welsh, and that should give us hopefully as well the same results. Now I can interpret all these results by mainly looking at the p-value. If that's below 0.05 I would reject the null hypothesis. Uh, the null hypothesis is that all the means are equal in the population so therefore we would assume that they are not so that at least two of them are different or that uh, the location has somewhat of an influence on the average grade that the students gave um, for the course. Now, you, if you want, you can also do everything just in steps without uh, using the, the function, as it were, just following the formula. For that, we need first calculate the count, the mean and the variance per category, and combine all of that into a result. So I'll quickly show that. So here are those results. So we can see that, for example, there were 19 students in Harlem, uh, the average grade the students in Rotterdam gave was 47 and they also have the highest variance, so they didn't all agree on each other. We then calculate the so-called weight, which is the sample size divided by the variance for each category. 
we sum those results up and we also calculate the overall mean and we then get our results from those we need the number of categories which can be done by simply looking at the dimensions of the results table which is three uh, we can calculate a numerator by doing the um, sum of squares of the weighted means uh, we calculate a d value the denominator and finally we can then calculate the f statistic which should be the same as we saw earlier the degrees of freedom can be easily calculated the first one is number of categories minus one the other one is um, is somewhat of a formula using that uh, delta or d value uh, and that gives us that 26.07191 finally the p-value using the um, the f distribution uh, I want the right tail so I set lower tail to false and that should give me the result that we saw earlier as well if you want I also made one specific function for the Welsh ANOVA and that should actually give the same results as we saw earlier as well all right and that was it um, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video